In this video, I'm going to share with you how I practice my public speaking and you can also practice using the same method. My name is Ibrahim Mustafa and I welcome you to my channel. Let's go straight to how I practice my public speaking. So what I do is to practice aloud. So if you have a book, if you have something that you can read, it could be a newspaper article, whatever it is, and you can read that aloud. That's what I use. So in my case, I use a book. This is the book I normally use. And what you will do is that, and what this is what most people do. They take the book, they open to any part, and they read. So I'm going to read Kwame Nkrumah's speech. And that's what they do. They just take the book and they start reading like this. Don't do that. And they say, at long last, the battle has ended. And that's Ghana, your beloved country, is free forever. And yet again, I want to make the opportunity to thank the chiefs and people of this country. If you are into this, it's, yes, it's good. It may help you to be able to get your voice to do whatever you want to do when you are tired. But it will not help you give professional presentations. So, and that's what most people do. They are caught into reading, reading, reading like that. But then this is what I do. And I'm going to share with you how I do this. So what you do, you should do is to read it like you are giving a presentation. And that's, that's the difference. Read it like you are giving a presentation. So if I was to read what I read earlier, it's going to be like, at long last, the battle has ended. And that's Ghana. Your beloved country is free forever. And yet again, I want to take the opportunity to thank the chiefs and people of this country, the youth and the farmers, the women who have so nobly fought and won this battle. So you see that there's a difference between what I'm just doing now and what some people get into to practice. So this is a good technique that you can use to practice your presentations. You can use to get yourself aligned to do a lot of things in terms of like your voice coordination, how to be able to master that power of your voice, how to keep speaking and how to speak fast, articulate and get your words together. So this is one of the ways I practice. And you can also practice the same way by reading aloud. Don't be afraid to speak. Don't be afraid to read aloud. Just keep doing this. The more you do this, the more you get better. I have a public speaking course, which is free. And uh, there's a premium one. And there are people who also want one-on-one -on -one coaching. I've stopped doing the one-on-one -on -one coaching. But for some people, I'm, I just give them the opportunity to coach them. So check in the link the description. And you get my public speaking course on Skillshare. And you get to enroll for free. But then keep practicing. Keep looking for ways to create opportunities to practice. Do videos to speak constantly. If you are not getting the speaking engagements, create opportunities. Speak online. Speak on YouTube. Speak on TikTok. Do Facebook Live. You can also do Twitter Spaces. You can go to Clubhouse and create a room and just keep speaking. No matter what, you can even create a podcast just to get your voice going. Public speaking is just like football. The more you keep speaking... The more you build that momentum, and you keep going. But if you stop, you get whack. And you, if you want to get back, it's a little difficult. But then you can create rapport, create opportunities to keep speaking. But check in the link description, uh, the description below, to get my free public speaking course. Also subscribe to my channel if there's value in this. Thank you very much. I believe in you, and I believe in the power of your dreams. Go on. And make that difference. I believe, and I believe in you.